Okay, so this is another one that I messed up. I'm starting to just to tell you what's going on. So we're installing another package and this one is all the icons. You can see that I've already got it installed here because we got this nice uh, icon for Emacs here. Good stuff. Okay, so let's go into our and find file org. Show you what I did here in iCandy. All the icons. And we installed the I guess all the icons, right? And then the first time that you run this, you want to run Oopa. That's weird. Ah, that's why stupid me. At the end of the we want to install the fonts. The fonts already installed, but let's install them again. And it's going to go and download the fonts, and it's going to update your uh, font cache. Okay. Uh, hopefully, that'll work in Mac or whatever else you might be using. And it locked up on me last time, as well. Oh, here. So that's where I got stuck. Okay. So we've got that. Now we got it installed. And we can insert icons, so we can do like yeah, all the icons insert. And what I did last, I did Emacs, right? Okay, what else can we do? All the icons insert, and you have the different types of um, so act icons you can add here, blog calendar, all kinds of stuff. Now, there is another package I installed, which is Ivy all the icons. And this goes with Ivy. Yeah, I should probably do this after Ivy's installed. Yeah, let's leave it here for now. When I want to get things optimized. No. But you need to run this all the icons all the icon setup. And then I can do I can look at files. Okay, so all my folders are marked with folders, and Emacs files look like Emacs. So we have org mode files, you get those little unicorn. Great stuff. Now, one thing when you when you use this, um, if you're inserting icons, you always it's better to use the. Don't insert like I did, because sometimes you'll update the fonts and then. When you update the font, it'll change the Unicode that goes along with that font. Okay, now there's another one for dirt, dried, whatever. There's a quick way to make call it dried, so let's go. On the icon. Dear edit. All the icons. And we'll do this one. Max. This. Okay, we're still here. And let's try. Look at the package. Uh, now there's so uh, there's other packages that also use this. Okay, so what we want to do here is use package. The help with the help button. Okay. And we're going to use package here and all the icons. Yeah. And we want to add a hook for this. So, let's see how do we remember the hooks? Is mode that all the icons the icons the that's weird why not hmm 
Did something in this SP gets. Stick mode gets things messed up sometimes. I can figure out why that's happening. Yep. Now let's take a look at our directory here. And we've got icons and guard. For all you people that like icons. Okay, let's take a look at what this does. This adds file. Didn't work. Oh, that didn't work. And what else we got here? Now, also, it works in buffers, right? Neat. See so here, here that you have a real Emacs buffer. And here you have like uh, like backtrace and things like that. Now, the problem is that exporting this into, so if I put it with an insert of an icon here, it wouldn't work well. You need, you would have to get the font installed into, um, into the HTML. So, you know, I actually want to take a look and see how that would work. This should be a font. Maybe I can have a font. Right. No? Hmm, let's try grep. Uh, blocked me up again. So we need to find out where he. Wow! What is all this kind of garbage? Those two long lines need to take about. Take care of taking long lines with the max. Okay. And not oh, this. Can't kill it. Okay. Um let's try to find. Find uh I name font. That's must proceed. I always get that backwards. Mm. Oh. And I don't know where I put it, but I think that's enough for now. If you know how to get that uh, working, the where the font where you download the font to, I can expect the package and find out and find about getting to. What? I think I do know where it went. Let's get them back to... Okay. Let's take a look inside the actual package. Oh, oh there we are. It's all fun. Let's find out where he installs this. Okay, so he's going to install it into my home local share of fonts. Let's take a look there.
So he has all these ones set up here. That was weird. That wasn't a mistake to try and open that. And it solves the fonts. Okay. So I wonder, it's probably just adding all these fonts to the, it's probably adding all the fonts to your path and that's it. See where is the fonts are loaded. That's a face. So it looks like what he's doing is setting the family uh, manually here. So that's going to make things a little bit tricky if you wanted to actually use these icons in your to export them in HTML or something like that. Um, so, if you want to use something that's going to be exported HTML, look, you could always stick to using only um, the icons from uh, certain packages. So, what did he have? He had um, octo icons, right? And then you have all these ones. Now I'm just wondering if he goes and changes them around. Hmm. So if you have a nice way that to get those um, If you can get a nice way to get um, the icons when it exports, you see like here, this is it's not going to export correctly. If you can get the exporting the icons, that would be cool. Okay, call to, I'm just talking stupidness now, call to.